G'day guys, what's going on? It's Cody here coming to you guys with a video. Today we're thrifting. I've just been to a thrift store. I've got some stuff here. I'll show you guys very soon, but I'm also at the front of another savers at the moment that I'm just about to head into. We're gonna see what we find. Uh, thrifting for me at the moment is just a bit of a sort of side hustle, just a bit of a hobby. It's just something I bloody enjoy doing. So I'm going out a couple of times a week uh, just to find some really cool stuff to flip. Let me just quickly show you guys what I picked up from the op shop that I just got out of and then we'll head on into this savers and uh, see what we can find in here. But um, I only picked up a couple of items here at this this uh, other op shop that I was at. Um, first piece that we got to start off today's vlog with is uh, this Versace Medusa Head Jeans Couture uh, jacket. It isn't leather or anything, it's just polyester. But the kind of selling point for this one is it's got Versace written down the sleeve there. Uh, nothing crazy. I didn't really want to just leave it there. It was a bit expensive at 27 but we should be able to get 100 to 150 um, There's not, you know, very specific comps on eBay for that item, but I'm pretty confident from my experience that I should be able to get around that. Um, and then we popped on this thing. This is $23 and it was to Norwheel and Bluey Jr. They got this pretty cool lumberjack style jacket here. Might get this one. It's a, a Bluey Jr. Got the sheep Sherpa going on there. And um, yeah, this is essentially a lumber jacket. Uh, let me show you the comps on eBay for this piece. It's a pretty nice piece. So we just searched Norwheel and Bluey or lumber jacket and then we check the sold listings and the used condition so there's one there that sold for hundred and forty dollars which is very similar mine is the target brand one vintage target Target. Um, but if we just search broader term for Norwegian jacket it'll return a few more results here not specific but we can just scroll through to find the good ones or the ones that are like our items. So there we go, one right there. The men's Norwegian, um, 150. Uh, and then there should be another one right there, 134.95. Yes, I'll be listing this for 150. And this item sells fairly quickly. I've had a couple of these jackets in the past and they're really fast sellers. So this is the same size as what I have right here. So yeah, nice piece. And also we popped on a couple of 70 US dollar books for FBA. So we've got this one and also this one here as well um, Yeah, they're going for like almost a hundred dollars Australian each on Amazon Not too much at this thrift just a couple of books Looking at like a hundred in total there for them So yeah, there was only just those two books in that thrift for me I'm kind of just going a bit fast when I'm scanning through the books I'm not going fast, but I'm trying to go fast if that makes sense because I don't have my scanner I do have my scanner, but I uh, smashed my phone and I got a new phone and I didn't get to download the database onto my phone, so I'm just using the Amazon seller app. But it's all good. We're still getting a few books and stuff here, which is good. Um, I have a few more thrifts that I'm thinking about heading to next, but I'm really just spending just a couple of hours today thrifting. Um, and yeah, just got a heap of other stuff that I'll be working on, but this video is all about thrifting, so let's go to the next one. All right, guys, we're in another savers. Um Probably just gonna get this Mambo. It's not Mambo loud or anything, but still, it's subject matter. So I'm thinking like 100 for this shirt, regardless. Anyway, it's a nice shirt for five bucks. Sometimes you just gotta know what to look for. Like, it's all about the subject matter for this. The Mambo loud shirts, branded shirts, are amazing resale value. You know, like some of them go up to like $400, like the real rare ones. Um, but you're looking at like $100, $200 for just a standard shirt. Considering this isn't the Mambo Loud, it's not going to fetch something crazy like that. But still, it's worth chucking up for 100 like I said when I was in the store. And just seeing how it goes, ridiculous ROI there, 5 into 100 So, yeah, I love it. <laughs> just that adrenaline or just that endorphin rush you get every time you find a, a flippable product. It's just... Nothing beats thrifting. <laughs> oh, what's up guys, so I'm at a Vinnie's now. Um, just found this Swan Dry jacket. Amazing brand. Um, it's pretty good. So I want 10 bucks for this jacket. It's got stitching on here, which could be removed. Um, over $100, it's pretty good. Let me show you guys the comps on eBay. So, easy 150. That sold way too cheap. 
100, 100, 120. Yeah, so 150, 150, 100, somewhere around there. Quali brand, look out for that one. Guys, just in case you're wondering, the money is out there. If you're just starting with thrifting or whatever, like, you can make a good living doing this stuff. Like, you just gotta hustle and, like, for me personally, I'm not shooting for, like, these $20, $30 profit items. I'm hitting these home run items, you know? Like, almost $100 profit on this jacket alone. Like, that's the kind of stuff I'm, I'm looking for. But, you know, you can search those $20 profit items. There's so many items like that in, the, in these thrifts, like, it's just an abundance, you just gotta get out there and get it. So guys, in another op shop, probably gonna get these Ultra Boosts um, for nine bucks, which is pretty good. But also, my sister's looking for a bike, and uh, I think this might be the one. I'm gonna call her and see if she wants it. Hey Naya, I'm in the thrift, and I just came across an Apollo road bike, which is really good, and it looks like it's your size. Do you want me to get it? It's mad. Oh, it's 50 bucks. I'll buy it for you. I don't care. It's a mad bike. It's mad. It's really cool. You'll love it. All right, I will. All right, guys. So a bit of a closer look at this uh, Apollo. It's an Apollo Concorde um, RSX. Now, I'm not sure about this Shimano component. It seems like it's high quality, high class stuff. Unfortunately, um, my sister doesn't want it, so I'm gonna just take it anyway and just run with it. Probably listed, I'm not too sure. Um, it's just this RSX stuff, I think it's quality, so I'll probably shoot for up to 200 for this bike. A bit more research is needed though. But it looks like it's got a chrome front fork. Um, yeah, really cool patterns, that, that's another selling point. Um, but it seems quality and it's in good condition, so not bad. We paid 50 for, for this one, so. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. I kind of, I really enjoyed filming today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already to stay up to date with other stuff that I have planned. Um, but yeah, it was cool to make a bit of a trip to the thrift, going to the thrift store kind of vlog. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.